Welcome viewers, this is Winch here. Apologize, apologize for the uh, mic uh, quality, I'm on the road recording this, so it's a little bit subpar. But I want to do another in-depth weapon analysis, and I know before I even say it, another UMP45 review? Yes. Uh, but I like to set my reviews and commentaries apart a lot of times by giving you in-depth video clips of this really good gameplay. You know, doing some slow motion clips, some stills if I have to, and really uh, explaining how you want to use a weapon in depth. Uh, so that's kind of where I want to go with this video. And I'm trying to keep it short and sweet, sweet here. Uh, this weapon post patch is probably one of my favorite weapons, uh, in particular with the PDW category. I can't say for certain if I like it more in the battle. I'd probably have to say no, but it's real close to it. Now right here I'm laying down prone because I'm right in the middle of all this action in North Shark Canals. Being careful about uh, where I want to go next is obviously look at I mean, the old teams right here on top of me. But pay, pay attention in particular to how this weapon fires from the hip. Now my loadout on this is a suppressor and a laser sight, and I'll be the first to say that I am absolutely horrible firing from the hip. But something about this gun, and right there, look at that, let's look at that again. Drop both these guys from the hip simultaneously, uh, just beautiful. But I'll be the first to say that even despite my horrible hip firing skills, it seems like this gun almost fires better from the hip than it does aiming down sights. It's almost a little too good. Again, right here I got three guys in my field of vision. A lot of fun. And oh, let's take a note of something here. Uh, I want to show you this again. I thought one of the things they were supposed to correct post patch was differentiating friendly grenades from enemy grenades. So did you see any of that? They all look the same to me. So apparently that did not get taken care of in the patch, unfortunately, but I wanted to kind of show you that because I didn't know whose grenade was who at that, in that point in time. It's kind of frustrating. But um, this clip right here, I want to show you the biggest weakness of this class, and you're really capitalizing on that even more so by putting a suppressor on this weapon, and that is the damage drop off of this gun. It drops off like a cliff. Now we all know this damage does unreal damage at close range, 34 damage. You know, that's incredible damage. But with the suppressor on this weapon, here I am picking this guy out. I couldn't believe it didn't kill this guy. I actually had to, like, stop myself and say, wait, did I just not see the enemy kill <laughs> notification there? I did it not kill that guy. I gotta go back here and get a headshot to finish him off, pretty much. Uh, it wasn't a headshot, I thought it was. But uh, obviously, a lot of shots there. And that, you know, from here to that fork, that fork uh, lift is not that far. So I was really surprised at how severe the damage drop-off really is with this class. So you got to know how to use this. But I'm still a strong supporter of the suppressor. Again, here I'm showing up here in the whole team. Well, it's, it's a particular squad that keeps getting revived. But I pick up 700 points here as I just continually, this range, you're doing 34 damage. I mean, bring it, bring it, bring it. That's why this gun's so good. Uh, you can just destroy the team, flank the team. And with that suppressor on, you can really really catch the team off guard. But again, the stats on this is 34 max damage, but with suppressor, it's dropping down to 12 damage at 30 meters. Ooh, I mean, that's bad. So just keep in mind, if you want to run this loadout, that you got to stay close to your enemy. you got to stay very, very close. It's not a medium-range weapon. It's not a long-range weapon. It's only strictly short-range. And why do people respawn on beacons when they know they just got killed? Anyway, I, I kind of had to leave that in here. Now... If you compare this gun to like the PP2000, I'm not impressed with the PP2000 post patch. Actually, they're supposed to buff that at range. I give it a little more punch at range. It's doing 25 max damage and a minimum of 13 damage at 50 meters. And without a suppressor, the UMP is going to go 12 and a half damage at 40 meters. So there's a 10 meter difference between the, these two weapons, but only a one damage difference between the two. I mean, no thanks. Personally, I'll stick with 34 damage at close range as opposed to 25. And I'll, I'll sacrifice 10 meters of drop off and, and one damage point at range. I mean, that to me, the PP2000 is inferior to the UMP45 at this point in time. Um, but honestly, I, I don't know real life stats on these weapons, but to me, it seems like the UMP45 is a pretty well known, popular gun for uh, law enforcement, close range combat. I don't know much about the PP2000, but it seemed like the, for the longest time, and I'm kind of glad they buffed the UMP45, it seemed like the longest of time that. They really need to do something to help this weapon out. I, I even liked it but prior to the patch for some reason. I like the sound. I like the fact you put multiple attachments on it. Um, it was just a fun gun to me. So I'm glad that this weapon feels right to me now. But again, you have to understand its limitation of its 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 
absolutely useless at medium range uh, and longer. So if you can put yourself in that frame of mind as, as staying close to the enemy, knowing where they're spawning, flanking the team, being stealthy, you are a lethal combination if you can capitalize onto this. Now watch this clip. I'm about to go in here and take out three guys. The first guy I drop instantly from the hip at range. Look at that. Boom. Whoa. What just happened there? Take this guy up, get this guy laying down prone. I mean, I just wiped out three guys. Okay, let's see it again. How did I take out that first guy, like, from the hip with, like, one shot? I mean, at that range? It almost feels like it fires better from the hip, in my experience. I don't know if he had a lot of damage already on him. That's maybe a possibility. But it's still worth noting how, the, how powerful and how credible this weapon is firing from the hip. Again, this is why I like a suppressor. Here I am, just full-on charge in their spawn. I don't recommend this kind of gameplay because you know you're going to die, and of course the guy's trying to knife me. And you know he gets the epic fail teabag in the face if uh, he does so. I mean, I'm in his spawn for God's sakes. But um, that's a little too aggressive a gameplay. I don't recommend that. But here I want to show again how many guys you're capable of killing with just a 25 rounds in a magazine. There's one. There's two. Got eight rounds left. And we'll make it three. So, you know, that's a real big strong suit, this weapon. There's not many PDWs you can say you can kill three guys with a one clip, you know, unless they're all clustered together and you're getting a triple kill instantly or something like that. But having that kind of spaced apart, that's why I like these moderate fire weapons. It allows me to have a little more time. I, I tell you right now, I probably couldn't do that with 30 rounds in a VAL, AS VAL, even with extended mags. I, more likely, firing 900 rounds a minute, probably not going to happen. Now, here I'm getting the Master Dog Tag. I want you to pay attention to I'll d describe how I use uh, cover in this last clip. Uh, how I'm approaching a spawn, enemy spawn position. I try to play smartly to increase my survivability and put me in a tactical position to kind of allow me to capitalize and stay out, stay alive. So here again, I know pretty much where the whole team's spawning here, up ahead and to my left around that semi-truck. So I'm going to try to work my way over there. And of course there's a guy at our flank over here. Again, at this range, I'm not going to kill this guy, so i got to close by distance with him. I'm going to charge at him, be aggressive, finish him off before he gets the reload in. Now I know I'm trying to get to my objective out here in front of me. i got team enemies spawning in front of me, putting them down selectively, and being selective about my re reload time. I'm always behind cover any time I reload. See, pop around this dump truck, reload, and i got cover to my left still. Uh, I've got this wall to my left. I'm going to push up here, hug this wall to keep that flank uh, basically covered. You know, keep the enemy right in front of me, because I know head-to-head -head with this weapon at this range, there's not many guns that are going to put me down. i got this crane here to my left. Uh, you know, I've got all this... Uh, Scaffold team above me, and I'll look at this kill. I left this left in here to get kills at this range. This guy's got 100% health, I know that for sure. He just spawned. You got to get a headshot, so that's what you got to do with this gun. Use cover to your advantage. Hope you guys like the video. Please like and subscribe to help you out and try this weapon, it's deadly.